Generation Family Written by Claudia Harrington Illustrated by Zoe Persico Published by Magic Wagon A Division of Abdo When the last bell rang, Lenny shot out of his seat. Just a minute, Lenny, said Miss Fish. You're going home with Manny, remember? He's student of the week. Miss Fish handed Lenny the class camera as Manny joined him. Ready? Manny asked as he need a soccer ball. Click. Sure, said Lenny. How do you get home? Take a look, said Manny when they got in front of school. Whoa, said Lenny. Fancy. Click. Manny chuckled. Nah, it's just my dad. Hi, Papa. Cool, said Lenny. Hop in, said Papa. We have to stop for dinner on the way home. Click. Lenny's eyes swelled to the size of small soccer balls. Does your dad buy you takeout? It's not like that, said Manny. You'll see. They pulled up in front of no place like home. Click. Manny jumped out. He ran up to the waitress standing out front and gave her a big hug. Click. Lenny gulped. We know the management. Manny's dad winked at Lenny in the mirror. The waitress walked Manny to the taxi, then got in. What's going on? Lenny asked as Manny's dad kissed the waitress. Mama, meet Lenny, Manny said. Lenny was speechless. Your mom said you can stay for dinner. Manny's mom said to Lenny, I hope you like pastel de pollo. Click. Is that pastel colored chicken? Lenny asked Manny. Manny howled. Try chicken pot pie. It was the lunch special and didn't sell out, Mama explained. Does your mom always bring dinner home? Asked Lenny. Unless she works a double shift, Manny answered. Yum, said Lenny. I wish my mom worked there. Their taxi pulled up to a big brick building. Is this your real no place like home? Asked Lenny. Manny nodded. Mama and Papa picked it out when we moved here. Click. Mama is really a dentist, said Manny. But she's not allowed to do dentist stuff here yet. Just like me, said Papa. You're a dentist too? asked Lenny. He ran his tongue over his teeth. Manny laughed. No, he's a medico, a doctor, but the rules are the same. I hope you don't mind sharing the homework table, Lenny, said Manny's dad. Manny's mom and I have to study too, so we can do our old jobs here in America. Cool, said Lenny. Besides... We only have reading to a grown-up for homework. Bueno, said Mama. What are you going to read to us? Manny looked at Lenny. Can I do mine at bedtime, Mama? Yes, she answered. I'll do that too, 
chimed in Lenny. Dinner soon, Mama said, kissing Papa. Lenny looked at the table, full of books and papers. Who sets your table? Mama laughed. Great timing. I was about to ask you boys to do it. Aw, said Manny. Can we play first? Ten minutes, said Papa. Manny grabbed the soccer ball. He led Lenny to the park next door, doing headers all the way. Click. Wow, said Lenny. Who taught you that? My brother, Eduardo, Manny answered, passing the ball. He plays for El Tricolor back home. He's in the National Football League. Football? asked Lenny. He missed the goal. But who taught you soccer? Manny laughed. Only Americans call it soccer. No way, said Lenny, just as Papa waved them home. When they finished dinner, a plate of sugary sticks appeared. What are these? asked Lenny. Ever have a churro? Manny replied. Lenny shook his head as Manny pretended to play one like a flute. Click! Yum, said Lenny, licking cinnamon sugar off his lips. Your mom lets you have treats? Yeah, but she makes me floss after brushing, said Manny. Mama smiled as she buzzed Lenny's mom in. Who eats your bedtime story? Lenny asked as he followed Manny to the living room. We usually do, said Manny's dad. We want our English to be perfect, his mom added. But tonight, it's my homework, said Manny. One more question, said Lenny as his mom walked in. Who loves you best? We do, the parents said with hugs all around. Click, score! said the boys. Student of the Week, Manny. I'll bring my ball so we can practice tomorrow, said Manny. Lenny grinned. That's using your head. Music